saw we saw this uh, this the, 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 this uh, institution coming under attack, and we thought it was our duty to be there to be part of it. But at the same time, there was no mention of Gilani. It pained us. I mean, if you are taking a stain that we are protecting this, the, what, what we are doing is protecting democracy and freedom of speech. Then it cannot be exclusive. You cannot drag it other people into some other group and you say we are protecting our freedom of speech. It cannot be yours only. Everyone has freedom of speech. What what was this about? I mean, this meeting for which Mr. Gilani has been put behind bars. He was he was being put to death. And many people felt he was not given a chance to fair trial. If you are not given someone a chance to fair trial, how can you hang him? And you hang him in this cruel manner, not letting his family to meet him. And if people are raising voice about him, they have the right. And India being a democracy, this right is enshrined in our constitution. If you want that, to, if you want that situation, it will be bad for, for the entire country. Even those people who are now speaking about freedom of they won't be able to leave because the space is shrinking. And this attitude is, is letting them shrink the speech even further. So it should be. The one reason you start, what is this happening with Mr. Gilani? I think he is a Muslim, he is a Kashmiri Muslim. It's about the human rights abuses that are happening in Kashmir. And he speaks about the Kashmiri people's right for, uh, for self determination. Jawaharlal Nehru was the person who took the matter to the UN. And he promised the Kashmiri people that you will be given a chance to, 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 to decide your future. And after 50 years, 65 years, the right has not been given to the people of Kashmir. And if someone speaks about that right, he's being put behind bars. You are curbing this right and you are putting those people who dissent, who don't, who don't tow your line. You have a particular point of view. You come with an agenda, those people who oppose this agenda, you are, you are going to do this to them. It's not, it's not only about Kashmir. You see what is happening to Dalit yes. in Hyderabad University. What was the issue? I mean, those people who were targeted. Who were those people? You are. Yeah, yeah. Rohit, you, Rohit, yeah, Rohit, Rohit you, you are targeting these people who are now. now he's become the symbol of protest, but he is also he belongs to the community who has been wronged for all these years, for centuries in India. And now, if they are speaking about their rights, they are. This is being done to them. It's in this country. You see, those people who are being put to death. Are in the, the, all, are, all of them are political prisoners and most of them happen to be Muslims. Why is this happening? And what was the hurry to put these Muslims to death when you have a long road there? Now what, what is the message you want to send? You can tolerate any, anyone else, not Muslims, not dissenting Muslims. Why? Let me tell you one thing very frankly. Where are they, wherever <laughs> there are Kashmiri, they will, they will shout one slogan that is Azadi. They want freedom. They, I mean, it's, it's their right. I mean, they, they have been fighting for this. And it's there. If you want this slogan to go away, then decide Kashmir. This slogan was there when you entered Kashmir. And it will be there unless you control your forces from there. And give the people the right to sell the country. The city in Nye itself, what is it? It is the colonial legacy. Yeah. British used it on Indians. And now Indian, Indian government is using it on Indians. There are people from the BJP who happen to be ministers who are, who are using such a dirty language in the parliament. They are threatening the minority community openly and nobody is asking about that. Do something to them. Everyone is silent there. And here someone asks about do something to Kashmir and to Kambai. And these Kashmiri uh, students, they are being witch hunted. You cannot define Azadi for Kashmir. Kashmiris know what Azadi means. You cannot say they want Azadi from this, uh, uh, from this thing or that thing. You ask a Kashmiri, he will tell you what I want Azadi from. You, you don't need to put, put your words into his mouth. He can speak for himself. The day there was uh, Amit Shah, the, the, the chief of BJP on a television channel, he was saying that even organizing an event on this Afzal Greenway is anti-national. The, no, these are the people who would tell us what is anti-national and what is national. Because they happen to be a power on a stroke of luck, they came to power and they will define everything now for us. It was a meeting, it was the third anniversary of Abdul, Afzal Guru's uh, this, uh, this hanging. And there was a discussion on Kashmir. The, some, some professor from Delhi University came and they spoke about it. And it was not done in secrecy. For God's sake, it was a whole book. 
for this venue for this uh, meeting and payment was duly made to that and, and the people assembled there and they have they have booked them under unlawful assembly what is this i mean wh what are you doing here like it, a hall was booked and people came there they spoke there and uh, this event was held and there was no violence there yes some people shouted slogans that they shout everywhere wherever kashmir is assembled they shout their slogan because the, the, the right is not being given to them, but the demand is everywhere. What's wrong about that? You see, the, you see the, 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 the most absurd thing here, what has happened. <coughs> there is a common complaint against police in India that they don't file FIRs. Even in cases as serious as rape, they don't bother to file FIRs. Rape survivors and the victims, they go to the police station and the police doesn't to them. And now in this case what they do is they, took, they, they take Sumo to cognizance. On what basis? Because Z News were having this, this, this headline there that this, this thing that happened in uh, press club and there were anti-national slogans. They don't have any evidence of anti-national slogans. It's another debate. What is international? Oh, and there is this. You see, this, this was the, this guy Abdul Karim Kunda. He was arrested some time back, and he was projected some kind of a mastermind who had done bomb blasts here and there. And the court acquitted him. I mean, they dismissed the charges, and he was discharged. Okay. When he was when he was uh, arrested, it was a national news. Huh? It was it was blown up like anything. And when he was discharged of all charges, nobody bothered to claim. I mean, it's, it's the, the entire media is guilty there. And the, it, this is something I mean, the judiciary has to take notice of this. How can media people go around tarnishing people's image like this and there is nothing against them? Freedom of This is freedom of speech. What about our freedom of speech? We shout a slogan and we are put behind bars. These people are doing all this and they roam freely? They claim to be the house the ultra nationalists. This is this this is a political establishment that is lacking intellectuals prominently. I mean, there is conspicuous absence of intellectual persons in this government. Congress tried to revive its its politically a dying party. It tried to revive with the death of Abdul Guru. And they, that didn't work. They did use of some guru as a political tool, but for bad luck for them, it didn't work. What did they do when, when the elections was going on? What did the Congress? What what was the plank of Congress? It was if BJP was coming with hard Hindu thought, Congress came with soft Hindu thought. There was no difference at all. And here on the on the question of free speech, you see the left and the Congress on the same plank. There is no difference at all. They're saying don't touch this and this, go after those people. A CRPP, he is one of the vice presidents. It has got um, 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 several vice presidents, he is one of them. And they are taking cases of political prisoners I mean, throughout India. Yeah. Most of them happen to be, I mean, it's the composition of this, the people, how you target people. So most of them happen to be either Muslims or Kashmiri Muslims or they happen to be uh, some people um, um, from belonging to uh, tri some uh, tribal people who are fighting for their rights they are being branded Maoists and everything so these are the people these are uh, these are people who are under attack and these are uh, Mr. Gilani and others uh, in the CRPP they are raising their voice they are becoming their the voice of these voiceless people one of the reasons they are being targeted is also that I am a Kashmiri I don't know where I belong I can't call myself an Indian, I can't call myself a Pakistani, I am Kashmiri, my, my fate uh, I mean, hangs in the balance between these two countries. So what we are saying, give us the chance to de determine our future. And if you think Kashmiris, are, you, 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 I mean, Kashmiris want to stay with India, if you think that is the case, okay, hold this, uh, hold this uh, um, referendum and we will come to know. Is Kashmiris want this uh, right to self determination both from India and from Pakistan. Okay, there is one part of Kashmir also in Pakistan. They, the, the, that part of Kashmir calls itself Azad Kashmir because they don't think we are occupied by Pakistan. Whether Pakistan has occupied that territory or not will become clear. 
you won't find any Muslim, any Indian Muslim who does who is not willing to say Jai Hind. <laughs> Would you find any Muslim who no. will not say? No, every Muslim, Muslim says Jai Hind. Okay. Mm-hmm. But Bharat Mata is something that that some somewhere somewhere clashes with their with this uh, basic belief. Why are Muslims being forced to do this? I mean, is this the test of their patriotism? If this is the test, then God save India. There is an inbuilt, there is an inbuilt bias against people who belong to the North East and Jammu and Kashmir. In Kashmir being a political issue where you are not comfortable, you will not obviously cover that if you have nationalistic relations. But if you are a true <coughs> journalist who believes in the, uh, these, uh, the basic functions of journalism, you will cover everything. But it's not journalism what you will cover. It's the disgrace to journalism. The large section of media what they are doing, they are bringing the name of journalism into disgrace. If you are so confident, hold that referendum, yeah? If you are truthful, it will come out. So you can't forcefully hold a, hold a population for so long under your occupation on the, on, on the basis of just force. What is going on in Kashmir? It, it, is, it was a response to the Indian policies. The militancy in Kashmir was a response to the Indian policies. Because there was, before this militancy, people of Kashmir tried to resolve this issue politically. There was no gun in Kashmir before. The judge has considered both the arguments of the prosecution and of the defense. And he has come to a conclusion that it's not necessary to keep him in jail. The, 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 the wheel of justice moves very slowly in India.